Are you able to contain your excitement right now? Because I know I sure as hell can't. Welcome on back to the channel, you guys. That is right, we are going to be talking about Abel's brand new drop, the Reform Collection. Abel has been a hot request on this channel, so for your convenience, I have my Abel playlist right here if you wanna check out my other Abel videos. And of course, I'm always down for new requests, so drop a comment what brand you'd like to see next. I'm telling you guys, 2022, we're really trying to cover some ground here with these different brands. So definitely hit that subscribe button because we got a lot of new, new content coming your way that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to keep up to date with everything that's coming. You guys, I haven't even opened the dang package. We are doing this together today, but I could tell just by looking at their site with all the beautiful colors, the seamless sets, oh, I can already tell it's gonna be good. But before we hop into this video, I actually want to share with you guys something new that Bay and I are trying out in this video. We noticed that a ton of our subscribers, you guys, are watching us from your televisions. Now, with every single video we do, we always have individual links down below. So in our description boxes, you always have the direct link to everything we are talking about in the video, as long as it's available online and not like before the launch. <laughs> but those of you who are watching us from your television don't have access to those individual links. So to make your life easier, you will be seeing a QR code pop up on the screen when I talk about an individual item. We thought this would make your life a lot easier because if there's something you just wanna know more about or you wanna shop, this will bring you directly to it. And honestly guys, full transparency mode right here. Most of the links that you do see, whether it's in my description box, the QR codes, they are affiliate links. So I do make a small commission. You do not get charged more. I always have to mention that. I always wanna let you guys know that your purchases through our links does help this channel significantly. So basically in a nutshell, we are here doing this today because of you guys. And we love you and thank you guys so much for your support. Can't thank you enough. All right, let's hop into this bad boy. Mm. A huge thank you to Abel for sending these pieces out for me to review. This collection is coming in five unique and beautiful colors. We have a purple, black, blue, green, and charcoal. So I pretty much have one of every color except for the black. Pretty sure you got one of every season up in here. You got spring, summer, fall, and winter colors. As somebody who's not a huge fan of purples, iris purple, this color, it's like a very vibrant pastel. All right, let's start with this sports bra right here. So everything's in a size small. So right out of the bag, I thought I would have to size down in this sports bra, but I'm gonna adjust it. Thankfully, there are adjustments here. Yeah, that feels a lot better. So once I tighten this bra, I'm already feeling the support level going up. Still give it a moderate support though. I really like the fact that these straps are relatively thick. So it's very comfortable. There's nothing digging. Sometimes those thin straps, they cut you up, man. <laughs> the straps have a really nice shiny look to it. I like that. I remember Honor Active had that and I really liked it. I do think overall I still could have sized down in this because I'm feeling like there's a little, little bit of that extraness going on right around here. I could have gotten away with an extra small. Overall aesthetic, it's very simple, very straightforward. You have that really minimal Able white logo text right here. Real subtle contouring underneath the girlies here. My favorite part of this sports bra though, I think you already know, it's the cutout hole detailing right on the back here. Super breathable. It actually makes it look a little bit sporty for something that would overall just be more of a feminine style set. These pads, they're hard. <laughs> These are the hardest like bra inserts I've ever felt. What's going on with that? It's to protect you at the gym. You got some real sharp cuts on this sports bra. There's no digging in the armpits. I'm seeing a lot of brands come out with the trimmed up look right around here, which I really love because nothing makes me more insecure than sitting here trying to chest press with some bra bulge going on. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think sage green is gonna win the day for me. I'm feeling like these leggings are a bit tighter around this area than the iris purple ones. They're stretchy and they're easy to get on except right around here. This is where I felt I was really trying to tug and I don't feel a ton of stretch right around here. It's weird because when I take a legging and I go like this, there's a decent amount of stretch, but when I put them on right around here, right around the glutes, it's a little bit tough. And with that being said, I am seeing a major uni butt. 
I tried messing around with it, all right? I tried to do all the damn thing. I tried to, there's just not enough like stretch and material right here to do anything with that. But again, this is my very first time wearing it. So I'm sure over time as I keep wearing them, they might loosen up just a tad. There's no seam contour either. So there's no breakup. You do have an under booty contour, but you would never know. <laughs> There's no shadow contour whatsoever on any of these pieces. It's just a little baby rib contour. So it's, nothing's really noticeable. It all looks very just monotone. Not saying that's a bad thing because I know a lot of people, including myself, I don't want crazy designs all the time and movements and swoops. Sometimes a nice solid set, very minimal is all you need. Other than that, you do have a really nice, decent support right in the band. Overall moderate compression. Again, I really love the subtle ribbed contour. It's all ribbed, no shadowing though. So it's like barely there in certain lighting, you can see it. Really love the details on the ends towards the ankles here. It's slightly long on me, but if I shimmy it up, I'm sure I'm good to go. They're good solid gym leggings, but I don't think that lower body would be what I use this for, just because I do prefer a little bit more stretch right around here, especially when I'm getting low in a squat. If you want a more relaxed fit and you're in between sizes, I would definitely say size up. But even though I'm feeling a slight bit of restriction right here, I'm not seeing any dreaded CT. Overall, a really well-structured legging. I'm not seeing any band gape, which is good. They're not sliding or moving around, so they're staying put where they need to be. It is very smooth and overall a beautiful seamless legging. The blue, huh? <laughs> This one was the hardest to get on right here. I'm noticing as we start going into the darker colors, it's getting slightly more tighter around this area. I am seeing a little bit of these deep wrinkles right here. I definitely have to make note that these leggings are on the thicker side. They are not your thin little shizzes that you're gonna pop a hole through. These are pretty thick, very, very durable. Like These ain't going anywhere. These are not something that I'm afraid to lift weights in and get down and dirty. If I brush a weight up against it, it's all good because this type of material is meant to endure that kind of thing. So I definitely feel the ruggedness in here, even despite like the real feminine, pretty detailing, the light colors, this is meant for working out in. So I would pretty much say you could do higher intensity with these leggings, I do feel that. Okay, so what are we thinking about the charcoal leggings? These were just as tight around here as the blue that you just saw. I think that this charcoal is such a nice statement color to mix and match with say the purple or the green. I feel like there's a lot of colors that you can use interchangeably in this collection. What do you guys think? I don't have the matching sports bra for the charcoal leggings, but I do have a damn t-shirt. This is a really nice t-shirt. I actually feel like it's a little more form fitted up on top here. And then it's a little more boxy and loose towards the bottom where it counts. Okay, I see you, Abel. Slight curved hem in the front here, as well as the back. I do really like the tiny ass text. <laughs> it's like so small, but it's cute. I love tucking my t-shirts under my bra. By the way, little fashion tip that I like to share. It's gonna go like this right here. And you just made yourself a little cute crop. You can loosen it up if you'd like. The things I'm really loving about this Reform collection, I love the color palette they went with. I think there's a color for everybody, really good transitional colors with the different seasons. I also really like the durability factor. I think that these are the type of leggings that will in fact hold up long term. I also like the fact that these leggings are considerably squat proof, especially with these lighter colors. They were more squat proof than I personally anticipated. And for somebody like me, I would not feel weird wearing them to the gym. The overall minimal detailing, I think that they did a really good job at making a functional seamless set at an affordable price. I always admired that about Abel is the fact that they never charged top dollar for their seamless. It's definitely more on the affordable end when it comes to Instagram seamless brands. A couple things I would have really liked to see would be the glute area. I would have liked to see a little break up, a little glute separation. I know it's not for everybody, but for me, I actually really do love that. Especially because there's not an insane amount of stretch in this set, I do feel like a glute seam is necessary. But with that being said, I would have also liked to feel a little bit more of the spandex, a little more stretch, but that is my preference. I am not the kind of gal who needs a crazy type of support legging. 
But other than that, for affordable, seamless, I think they did a really good job on this collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and found this information very helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already because we have a ton, oh, a ton of new really good content coming your way. <laughs> we make new videos here every single week on active wear. Up next, we have Battle of the Pursue Leggings, the new Buff Bunny Journey. Really hot topics you're not gonna wanna miss, I promise. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Able, able, bo babel, banana, fanna, fo fable, fee fa, fo fable, able. How many rhymes can you make with able? Able, gable, stable, mabel, fable, 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 babel, stable. I said stable. Cable. Dable, cable. Cable's good. Label. Label. <laughs>